What is up, everybody? Meriden Gaming here. We're back for another World of Tanks Tech Tree Tank Showcase and Review. And we're taking a look at the weirdest heavy tank I have ever seen. The Tier 10 American M5Y. Just look at it. What were they thinking? I'm sure this is a prototype or something that, you know, someone found, but... What is this? Yam? Eggplant? W cucumber? I don't know. What? 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 Why? Why? Just why? Uh, well, actually, you know, makes sense. Why? It's the Y tank, the Yo tank. But of course, you know what that means. There is one upside. You got this? Well, it's not upside to this. You got an extra track here. So if you get your track shot off, you got a second one, so you can keep moving. But if they know what they're doing, you're gonna have problems because of the shape of this thing. Yeah, you got a lot of armor here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the actual live view of the armor. So from the front, this turret, not only do you have ridiculous amounts of armor, period. Ricochet, 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 ricochet. Yeah, just ricochet everywhere. But not only that, but look at this. 500, 600, there's, there's somewhere, yeah, look at that. 1,000 weak points. This and here. Yeah. But you know what they're going to be doing. This is basically a Kronvon with a single loading um, barrel. So they're going to be up above you. Hiding this, using a hill or a little bit of rubble to hide this. Giving them the 300 armor here. And using that gun depression. Yeah, that's right. This is just the American version of a Kronvon. I don't know. You know what I'm trying to say. Uh, and what you will end up seeing a lot of people do is they will shoot at you and raise that barrel just high enough where now you can't hit their cupola. These things are incredibly difficult to dig off the top of a hill. But if you catch them in the side, yeah, look at this. All green, everything. Yeah, just one giant pin cushion. But uh, one other spot you can hit if you don't have quite enough pin to go through this spot here is this tiny little gap right here. 178. Every tier 8, including lights, should be able to go through this right here. Uh, it is a very small spot. If they're moving their turret around, it does make it more difficult to hit. But, yeah, that's always a go-to for me. Uh, I know I can always go through that spot right there. Anyway, let's get to the comparison. So, the North American server. These are the ones I see that are of similar tank types. I'm not going to include autoloaders. Uh, but we got the T110E5, the classic American heavy tank, the Object 277, which is probably one of the most popular tanks, especially if you are wanting to get into the clan wars, the tier 10 clan stuff. That's pretty much almost a requirement to even join clans that are doing clan war type activities. Super Conquer, which is the sniper of the heavy tanks. The E100, which is the super heavy, I'm just going to drive at you and shoot you in the face tank. And the IS-7, which is kind of like a lighter version of the E100, because this thing has really trollish armor. You'll look at the armor and go like, that's not that great of armor. But because of the angles, it's good armor. It's, I've shot him in the side, they just bounce it. It's stupid. Anyway, all right, DPM, right in the middle. Yep, this American tank, right in the middle, every time. Not the best, not the worst, but okay. Uh, penetration, this one's actually up a little bit compared to the previous tank, compared to its competitors. Uh, 252 is not bad. Uh, you do step up to uh, the 300 millimeter, which is basically the same thing as the previous tank. Uh, so you, with this tank, you will have problems with some of the super heavies and whatnot going through their armor with those heat rounds. Because 300 millimeters of pen is not a lot at tier 10. Uh, 440 damage, so you do a little bit more damage uh, compared to your counterpart, the T110, and the previous tank. That is one good thing. Uh, but you are lagging behind the Object 277 and the E100, but they have slower reloads. So it's kind of a trade off, honestly. Then we get down to our shell velocity. Yep, fastest in class because you got that long old barrel, so that thing gets up to speed. Definitely lead tanks with that. Um, and definitely hit stuff at long ranges somewhat. This is kind of still a medium range brawler. Um, if you hide your hull well, you can do it at closer ranges too. But 
This is more of a sniper on a hill kind of tank. Uh, ammo capacity 38 does seem a little bit low for your reload speed. I can see you probably running out. Uh, probably only taking a couple of HE shells, but for the most part, um, standard in gold. Uh, you are, especially if you're facing a lot of tier 10s, you're probably going to run a lot of gold. So definitely try to get that double loadout if you can, so you can have two different setups for when you're facing tier 8s versus when you're facing tier 10s. Aim time, kind of slow, but not really. I mean, it is a heavy tank. They don't have the fastest aiming time. Uh, works great at medium ranges, though, like I said. Dispersion, once again, kind of medium-ish. Uh, actually, worse than the T110, which is amazing, because the T110 is not the most accurate, but still, pretty good. Uh, we can get this down to that 0.34, um, which is probably what I would try to do. Try to get as low, the dispersion as low as possible, just so you can... Get those longer shots. And then we get down to gun depression. Yep, same as the Super Conqueror. You got that 10 degrees of gun depression. Um, not quite as much of a cron bond, but pretty close. So you, it's going to play very similar, like I said. Speed, not as fast as the Object 277 or the IS-7, but does keep its speed fairly well. It's actually, other than Object 277, and I mean, th these are pretty close. It keeps its speed going up and down hills and across terrain better. So once you get that speed, you'll you'll definitely be able to get into position faster than, of course, 800. That doesn't count because that's super heavy. But your T110 and your Super Conquerors, you'll be able to get to those locations a little bit better. All right, armor, yeah. Almost, well, top in class for the turret, but hull, kind of mediocre. It's better than a lot of these, but because of the angles on it, not great. Your hull is pretty paper uh, whenever it comes to facing something straight on on flat level ground. Definitely have to hide that. Health wise, a little bit lower. Um, but of course, because it's a lighter tank, it has you know the, the lower armor and the lower health uh, overall. And then V range, of course, it's a tier 10. They all have 400 for some reason when it comes to heavy tanks. Anyway, what would we do to upgrade this thing? I would say we try to work on getting that V range. Now, see, this is the thing. You can go with improved aiming to try to get it down. You can try to go with either the vertical stabilizers, which is actually probably what we should go for. And of course, you're going to want a gun rammer. An option is you could forgo the gun rammer technically, or maybe the vents, and go for the smaller aiming circle in order to get that tighter circle to where you can get up there and snap those shots in. Because try to get that gun depression or gun dispersion down as far as you can. Uh, of course we're going to do camouflage, brothers in arms. Main things we're going to want, of course you're always going to go for repairs on heavy tanks, although it's not as critical on this one. Uh, if you're going to be at medium ranges, definitely want smooth ride because we're going to be moving. And then you're going to want snapshot. I mean that's pretty standard for the sniping heavy tanks, the medium range heavy tanks. So that gets us down to a, a nine second reload, uh, which is still not great. Um, dispersion of 0.35. And that's, see, that's what I was saying. I'd rather try to get that down a little bit more. Um, so if we went in here and went with, say we take this down, put in aiming circle. That gets us down to 0.33. That's a little. That's quite a bit. That that's that really is quite a bit better. Um, of course, it takes us back up to the 10:05 reload time. But you're not going to be snapping a lot of rounds in. You're going to be pushing. It's kind of like that Kron von. You you push up, find a, a target, hit it, and then move back. So it's kind of depending on how you want to play. What you would go for. This would probably be the setup I would go for, just so I don't have to sit out there quite as long and. Um, I get those shots in. Anyway, well, let's go ahead and get to that replay. All right, so we have Tiger and a B here in their M5Y playing on. I want to say this is Overlord, right? Right, right, right. Yes, Overlord. I haven't watched it, so we'll have to see how this goes. Going to be going up against the E100, the IS7. Oh, and the 780. That's the new tech that just came out. And an object 257 on the other team, MT-10. 
Okay, so let's see where they try to take up position. There's several good positions for this tank on this map. Interesting camo. I have not seen that camo before. Now they do a lot of moving their mouse around. Looks like they're going to try to get into a position to try to hit the uh, stuff down on the beach, maybe? Yep, definitely. Actually, you know, this is a good position. This little hill right here should offer them quite a bit of protection because of the way their turret lines up, or their hull lines up. But they should still be able to use that gun depression. Yep, to deal with that T-10. That T-10 is in big trouble in that location. Trying to angle themselves to a little bit safer. Oh, <laughs> hit the ground right in front of them. Yeah, see, they're not going to be able to go through their hull. Oh, now the Object 278 has found them. I have not played the 278 enough to know how well it's going to stack up. Yeah, I can see this being a great location for a Kronvon, too. Like I said, this is... this plays very similar. Now, this person is running food, so you know they've got this thing pretty well maxed out, most likely. This is just a ridiculous location. Now, the problem is the way they're facing here. Depending on where someone was, they could try to hit him in the side of the turret. If someone was down there on the beach with the right angle, they could definitely... Nice. Very nice shot. If they were down there on the beach and had just the right angle, they could hit him in the side of the turret. That's why they keep looking over there to make sure no one's in that location. Oh, they missed the shot. Just save that for this guy. Round. Yep, see, that's, that's the dispersion coming in. Not quite low enough to really snap the shots in. That's tier 10, T10. Nice little snappy shot in there. Or no, that's IS-7. Nice. Try to smack this medium in the side. See, look at that. That shell velocity definitely helps. debate whether or not the guy moved or not. But they're doing okay down there. Moving around a little bit more so they get a different angle. Yeah, as you see, they loaded a bunch of heat and they put it in their first slot as well. Alright, they dealt with the medium, so now they're going to try to move up. The heavies have fallen on the... The enemy heavies have fallen on the beach, so... They're in a very good position here. Well, it looks like the... Ooh, that was luck. Relocating to deal with the 780, looks like. Or the TNH. The TNH is right up over that hill, too. I can see them getting smacked on the side by all those tanks there. So they really don't want to push too far up. Yeah, I don't like this location right now. The enemy has moved into that middle area. They've taken out all the defensive mediums in that spot. They're down four tanks. This is not looking good. 2500 damage, one kill. Uh, I don't think that pinned. There you go, that's a good pin. Though the damage was a low roll. Only 311. Gotta be very careful here because the 780 
Alright, now the 780 is moved, but the TNH is repositioning, trying to find that CS, I think. Yeah, see, that's what I figured. The CS, that's what I would have done. I would have moved around behind. I like that this person is active with their their probs. Oh, they've got Arnold. Nice, they use the uh, auto aim there. I like how much they're moving their camera to make sure that they're not getting flanked and whatnot. Definitely have to do that quite a bit. That was clutch. Oh, they should have gone straight through their turret. Auto aiming. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to auto aim on that guy. There you go. Repair. Use of repair. Right in that turret. Nicely done. Three kills. 3,900 damage. There's more damage. Oh, this is not looking good. Oh, they hit the. It looked like the track there. I think that shot missed. Yep, you gotta run. There's a guy right behind you. Yeah, they are not in a very good spot right now. There's, they can get hit from a couple different angles here. That char can really put a hurt on them. It looks like the char is reloading. Yeah, don't expect yourself too far. Getting good. Nice. Yeah, that char has a 45 second reload. They definitely made use of that time very well. Oh, ammo rack. Ammo rack. Alright, five kills. 5600 damage, 2200 blocked. Only down by two now. Um, but the problem is that T95 is not really able to back them up when these other tanks come from the beach. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. There you go. They're gonna get surrounded here, I'm pretty sure. That's that's gonna be the problem. Object 704. I would say put yeah, push the 704, finish them off. Great job. Now we got the IS7. 780. Comes the 780 behind him. Although uh, they're not going to be able to see them over here. The problem is that IS7, if they're quick enough, they are very quick, and push them and kill them. Yeah, see that's what yep, yeah, that's what I figured. Everyone's T ninety five, yep. They yeah, there there's no way they're gonna be able to take out both these guys. They don't have enough. Oh, 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 oh. Got him isolated. Get a shot. Nicely played. Ooh. Oh, they might pull this out. Oh, unlucky bounce. Where's the Patton? Oh, Patton's How did that not go through? That was green. That was green all day. Uh, yep, they're dead. They can't get an angle. Yep. They played that just a hair better. Uh, they definitely could have pulled that game out. Um, because they were too close. If they'd backed up earlier, because they, it looked like they moved and hit here. Um, or a spot where it's a little bit more heavily armored, whereas this spot was green. They hit that spot twice, it looked like, but it didn't go through. So I don't know what's up with that. Um, I guess it's with them moving the mouse around so much, it, it just moved just at the last second. Uh, so that they didn't get the pinning shot. But anyway, let's go ahead and get to the stats of the game. Alright, so Ace Tanker, Bruiser, Duelist, Fire Perfect. High caliber and Top Gun on the losing team.
Yeah, that's how good this person did. 8,500 damage, 7 kills, 2,700 block. As you can see, this thing can brawl for sure, as long as you got that lower hull um, hidden. Uh, they damage 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of the enemies. So two-thirds of the enemies, they damage themselves. Definitely a great performance. Sad to see it was a loss, but anyway, it's American Gaming. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the battlefield.